Weather Network. Meteorologist Mark Molnar is your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewers sending photos and videos. I have one from not this past Sunday, but the previous Sunday that I forgot to show you. A hailstorm in the, basically in the media mark, Weather Northeastern studio area. Take a look at this. Taking a look at uh, you know, the southern tier of New York here near Endicott, New York and West Corners. Take a look at those hailstones falling here across the region. And that was some of those stronger thunderstorms in the area. Let's get right into the all important forecast. We're gonna start off with the tropics looking very quiet here across the tropics, still nothing to be had. And we're getting right into the precipitation amounts. Not much happening as a ridge builds in the Western half of the country back East here. This is where we're gonna see a lot of problems, tremendous amounts of rainfall, Gulf moisture here heading all the way up that basically the eastern third of the country is socked in with unsettledness and look at there there is that pronounced trough here across the eastern third of the country getting right into the forecast river levels won't be a problem starting off with your tuesday across the northeast this will be made maybe one of your only clear may, majorly clear days wednesday won't be too bad either but we'll get into that tuesday maybe a little bit around the edges here but the sunshine should get temperatures out into the 70s across much of the area into your th Wednesday here, halfway point of the week. We start to get that front overrunning moisture from the southwest. So clouds, it'll quickly start clouding up around areas like Pittsburgh, Erie and Cleveland in London, Ontario. Here across the northeast, we'll hold on to some sunshine in the Hudson and Susquehanna River valleys on northeastward. But that will quickly fade on Thursday as that front starts to move in from the west. We'll start to have maybe some redevelopment here off the east coast and stalled out front here across the Great Lakes. This is where we'll see a lot of rainfall across the northeast, probably averaging a half to three quarters of an inch closer to the coast that's where we'll get the one to two inches maybe th isolated amounts to three inches and then for your friday look at this across the northeast we're trying to get this out of the way before memorial day weekend i'll have your complete memorial day outlook forecast starting on thursday of this week it'll take you through the entire memorial day weekend but we got some wrap around here we got to get rid of clouds keeping it down into the 50s and 60s 60s being a popular number here across the Northeast. Taking a look at the extended outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's area and all points in between from Sarah and Tonconic. Take a look at this, starting off with your Tuesday, Wednesday here. Tuesday and Wednesday don't look too bad. Tuesday's your best day, sunny into the mid 70s into Wednesday, maybe a late day shower up towards the mid 70s again. But look at this Thursday and Friday, especially Thursday, we clouded up maybe a half to three quarters of an inch of rain. And then towards the weekend, we try to start clearing it out. We may struggle to make it to 70 into the upper 60s, but at least we'll be lower chances of rain by the weekend. And I'll have that complete weather forecast outlook. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, Amity Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube, Amity Mark. Comment, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus, Amity Mark. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.